Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can use Google Forms to create a timed test. So we are gonna be using the extended forms add-on to add a timer to our Google Form. So let's go to Google Forms to create a blank form. So now we need to name our form. Let's call this test. Okay, now let's add our question. Let's say how many days are there in a leap year? Let's add our first option. Let's say 366, and we can make the second option 365. Okay, the next one is 344. And let's make the final option 367. Now, we need to make this question required, so let's toggle this switch. Okay, so we're only going to be using one question for this example. Now that we have our question, we need to add the timer to this form. So I'm going to click on this icon here, which is the more icon. And let's click on add-ons. Let's search for extended forms using the search box. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first suggestion. And let's select the first option. Click on install, continue. And now we need to log in using a Google account. So I'm gonna select this one. Let's scroll down to click on allow. Now we can click on next. And done. Okay. Now we can click on this X at the top. Now let's access our add-on. Let's click on this add-ons icon, then extended forms. Click on configure. And now we can see our add-on on the right. Toggle this switch to turn it on. Okay, so now we have a notice here that says action required. So we need to click on fix settings. So the first option lets you share your form with others. You can use this drop down menu to select a sharing option. Once you're done, you can click on this share icon and this copies your form link to the clipboard. So as an example, I'm gonna open a new tab and paste this link that I copied. And this takes us to a sign in page, which means that users would have to sign in before answering any questions. So let's go back to our add-on. And also you should try not to remove or edit this field. If you do so, your score will not be recorded. Okay, so back on the add-on, we have the time limit option. You can turn it on or off, but you should leave it on if you want to create a timed quiz. The field at the bottom can be used to set a time limit. So let's use two minutes. And the next option lets us restrict attempts. So this determines how many times somebody could attempt to take this quiz. It can also be turned on or off. The next option lets you submit your responses automatically after the time has ended. You can also turn this on or off, but we are going to leave it on. Let's click on save. Okay, let's close this notification. Now we can preview our form. Here's our form information with the name and time limit. Let's click on get started. Okay, so now we have our time limit at the top, which is counting down. And we also have our form question, which I'm gonna respond to and click on submit. Okay, and now we can go back to our Google form. So let's close this. All right, let me just rename this quickly. And let's move back to our add-on to view the responses. So this is our test information. It was completed in 10 seconds. And now we can go ahead and view the response. Okay, so you can now create your own timed test using the extended forms add-on. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one.